What's up guys, this is Cody here. And today is the day that we have all been waiting for for so long, for like eight months now. And that is the iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak has been released thanks to Pangu. Now there is, now there are some caveats to this. One, it's a semi-tethered jailbreak, which means basically if your phone dies, or if you reboot your phone, then you are going to have to re-jailbreak it. But it's not like a regular semi-tethered jailbreak. So it's actually really easy to re-jailbreak it right there on your phone. So even if you reboot your device, you can re-jailbreak it very easily just by opening up an app. So it's damn near untethered and I'm definitely not complaining. So the next caveat is there is only a Windows tool right now. So you can still jailbreak on a Mac. All you have to do is install a VM. So if you guys haven't done that before, or you don't know how to do it, let me know in the comments below and I'll do a video tutorial on how to install a VM because it's really not that hard. And if you install a VM, that means you can run Windows on a Mac, which allows you to download this tool and use it to jailbreak your device right here. Also, of course, the first day that the jailbreak comes out, it's always a little bit buggy and fixes are implemented in the first coming day. So if you guys wanna wait a couple of days until the bugs are fixed up, then you can do so. Now, of course, if you guys stay tuned to my channel, I'll be doing all the updates. Anything that you need to know, I'll be sure to do a video on it. Of course, if it comes available for Mac, then I'll be hitting you guys up with a video, not to mention all the awesome tweaks that we're gonna be seeing and awesome themes. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get into this. So the first thing that you want to do, and you'll see that I actually haven't done it, but I do recommend to upgrade to iOS 9.3.3. But if you see, if I go into settings and we go into general and about, you'll see that I'm actually on 9.3.2. And that's just due to time restraints right now, just because I've run into some issues and I forgot to update to 9.3.3. So this jailbreak works on 9.3.2 and 9.3.3. So if you guys are gonna use this jailbreak, I recommend to upgrade to 9.3.3, just because you're on the latest firmware and that means that more bugs have been squashed from 9.3.2. So again, Upgrade to 9.3.3 before you do this jailbreak. At least that's what I recommend. A clean restore on 9.3.3 is always best just to make sure you don't run into any issues, but obviously upgrading to 9.3.3 will always work. Of course, we're gonna go through the little steps that we usually do right before we do a jailbreak just to make sure everything runs smoothly. And that means that we wanna turn off our passcode. So if we go into our settings and we jump back out here and we tap on touch ID and passcode. We're gonna go ahead and turn this off. So there's absolutely no touch ID and we wanna turn off our passcode as well. So we'll just tap right here, turn that off, type in our passcode and make sure you don't have touch ID uh, enabled as well. Next, let's just go into airplane mode. That way we don't have any issues whatsoever. And then you should be good to go. So now what you want to do is on your computer is actually go to this website right here. Of course, I'll link that in the description below for you guys. And then what you want to do is just click on this green button right here to download it. And I'll actually do uh, an upload of this tool, uh, basically just a direct download just so you guys can download it a whole lot faster because this took me about 30 minutes to download and I have a really fast internet connection just because it's getting hit so hard right now. So look in the description below for that link and I'll be sure to hook you guys up for as long as I can until that link gets too saturated and they take it down. So now at this point we've downloaded the tool and I put it on my desktop right here. So now what we want to do is right click on it and run as administrator. So make sure that your device is obviously plugged in to your computer, and then all you have to do is click this button right here. So once we click on that, you can see that it's going through the process of loading up here. And then you can click on this button, and this should launch the application. So once that loads up, you'll see one big green button. This is the jailbreak button. I know everything's in a different language, so it's hard to understand, but this is a pretty obvious button you can click on. So you just click on that, and then it should start the jailbreaking process. So once you click on this, it will take actually a little while in order for this to uh, load up and prepare. My assumption is that it's actually hitting something remotely and it's getting hammered so hard that it's actually taking a while, but it's really hard to tell uh, with these uh, different language words on the button here. All right, so you can see right here that it's asking for my Apple ID. So go ahead and enter your Apple ID right here. I know it's a little sketchy because it's in a different language, but basically what this is doing is using your Apple ID to input the profile 
on your device. So you'll hear, you'll see what I'm talking about here in just a second. And then it should go back to this screen here. All right, so once it's done, you'll get a little smiley face right here, as you can see, and you can just click this green button. So what you wanna do is it'll actually launch you into your profiles and device management. So you'll see you have your basically developer app, so it'll have just whatever Apple ID you put in there. So you can just tap on that, and then you tap on trusting that developer. So you just tap trust, and then you should be good to go. Now, one thing to keep in mind is if it starts hanging on you know your screen on your computer screen for you know 10 minutes or so go ahead and stop it and then restart it because i did that and i waited about 30 minutes no joke i waited 30 minutes uh before i actually restarted it. then when i restarted it it actually went through in probably five minutes or less so that's just something to keep in mind so, and if it gives you this issue right here that's because we are actually in airplane mode. So at this point, we don't have to be in airplane mode anymore. Go ahead and tap on verify and then verify again. And it should go ahead and verify that app. So now we can swipe over here and open this up. And then you just want to make sure you allow notifications. So just tap okay. And then we can just tap right in the middle here and it should jailbreak the device. So here we can just actually go to our lock screen So if it reboots your device immediately and you swipe to unlock and you still don't see Cydia or anything like that, then what we want to do is just open up this once again and we're going to allow notifications and then we're going to tap right here. So now we can go to our lock screen and you can see that the jailbreak has started once you get that notification. So we'll go ahead and get rid of this one. And then what we wanna do is allow this to do its thing. So we're not gonna do anything. We're not going to reboot it. We're not going to unplug it. We're not going to slide to unlock. So just keep that in mind that we wanna keep everything right here on the lock screen. Let us do its thing until it restarts just like that. And then once it reboots, you should slide over here and you should see Cydia installed. So you'll see Cydia right here. So if we tap on that, it should go ahead and load up. And if we swipe all the way down, you can see I'm on 9.3.2. Again, you probably want to be on 9.3.3. And then the first thing that you want to do is actually install uh, Apple File Conduit 2. So we're going to go into search and we're going to search for Apple File Conduit 2. So we want to install this because this is absolutely necessary in order to actually re-jailbreak your device once either your device dies or you reboot your device. So again, like I said, this is a semi-tethered jailbreak. So since we've installed Apple File Conduit 2, now we can restart our springboard. So it's resprung, and we swipe over here. You can see if we tap on City, it's still going to work, but the only thing that's not going to work is once we reboot. So if we go ahead and reboot our device, what you're going to want to do is go into this application and then re-jailbreak your device. So I'm going to go ahead and reboot it just to show you guys exactly what you have to do and how it works. All right, so we're rebooting now and the splash screen should go away here in just a second. And once it comes back, you'll notice that you're not jailbroken anymore once you can't actually open up Cydia. So if we try to open up Cydia, you can see that it's crashing. So you'll see if we also try to open up PP, that's not going to work either. So what you wanna do is open up this application and then you don't have to be connected to your computer. This is all going to take place right there on your device. So if we go ahead and unplug it and then we just tap right here, it's actually going to go through the exact same process. So all you have to do is just go back to your lock screen here and you should get a notification and it's going to respring just like this and it's going to work. So now when we slide to unlock, we'll swipe over here. You can see if we open up Cydia, it's going to work just fine. So basically it's just like a respring. So it's damn near an untethered jailbreak. It's about as close as you can get without being completely untethered. So of course, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. If you guys wanna stay up to date with all the brand new jailbreak releases, as well as tweaks, themes, you know, everything that I'm normally doing, then be sure you hit that subscribe button. Of course, if you guys want a tutorial on the Mac, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. And let me know in the comments if you guys have any issues, I'll be sure to help you guys out as much as I can. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace.